Good afternoon guys. It's Sunday and we slept in so we missed church. We had brunch like an hour ago. <laughs> we had brunch like an hour ago. Um, my husband made like croissant egg ham and cheese sandwiches and sausage and we are about to gear up and clean up the garage which is has not been put back together since like, when did we have that barbecue, Calvin? Like, the end of June? No, but we haven't put it back together the way it was since. Oh. All right. Well, we moved it at the end of June when my brother-in-law came. And, like, we cleaned it up when we had a poker night. But we haven't touched it since. So, it's a disaster. And we have a storage closet out here that my husband built that we have our like bulk foods in and basically the bulk foods have been all over the laundry room and the all over the garage so um yeah my whole house is a mess but we're gonna focus on getting the storage room and everything cleaned up i've got curtain rods that we bought at ikea like more than a month ago um we're gonna focus on the garage and the storage room right now and then i can focus more on the house i did organize the kids desks i mean it's not horrible it needs to be swept my table needs to be like put back together I just wash the tablecloth and stuff and i've got to put my husband's work clothes away but and we've got like some dishes and stuff but uh it's still kind of bad so we're gonna work on the garage so i'll show you guys what we're doing if before you want. You don't have to. So here's before, and they've already started taking stuff out. But this is like donation stuff that doesn't fit anybody. Um, and we've got, see, Frosted Flakes here. <laughs> and then this is like my husband's man cave, so we've got furniture out here, but it's all over the place. That's our dryer that we need to call someone to come out and fix. So for the time being, we have our old dryer in there with stuff all over it. More donations. Food. And then see this is our closet that's supposed to be storage closet. The door from the pantry broke. It's just a mess. So we're gonna work on this. Okay, so this is very important. Very important. <laughs> the cereal, I thought it should be like this. And uh No, you had it like this. This doesn't that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make why sense. Why not? Because it's the sizes. Yeah. This just happened, guys. Look at that. This look really look how nice sizes. it looks. Oh, oh, oh. No, stop. No. You don't you want it to show the time, not the nutrition facts. Well if I wanna know what it with the nutritional value. When you go take it inside you can look at it. On this end <laughs> Shut up. Before I I might Shut wanna up. compare. Shut up. It's fine. It's perfect like that. Oh, Jesus. So here is the food closet now. This is where my husband keeps all his painting stuff. He paints and, and the house paints and stuff. And we bought these notebooks last year when they were on super clearance. So we we'll, won't we'll have to buy notebooks for quite a while. Um, that is his domain. He's got like computers that he's putting together and printers and our old Keurig. And those are the doors, the screen doors for the garage door which is which is broken as you can see so he has to fix it and then that door was for our pantry and it broke <sighs> down there again his stuff that um container store bag has tie boxes in it we've got some lysol cleaning wipes toilet paper wipes and then a bunch of kleenex because we bought these last year these big rectangular boxes and then we bought these this year. So these, the kids are taking some to school, but we have the rest of them. Here, panko breadcrumbs, go-go squeeze, hey. graham crackers, peanut butter crackers, fruit snacks, Rice Krispie treats, cereal. We have Z bars here. My husband's chocolate. If you have been watching me for a while, you know he loves to buy these big boxes of chocolate at Costco. Pirate's booty, two boxes, and then we have um, plastic cups, throwaway plates, forks, that's for like when we entertain, and um, these are the little bathroom cups for the kids to wash their mouth out. Coffee cups, we have extra mugs, paper towels, sponges, Ziploc bags, soda, juice, 
an extra bag of brown rice, an extra thing of syrup. So that's everything in there. This still looks like this. And Joey's cutting the lawn. Morning guys, happy to, happy Monday. <laughs> uh, it's 6.18 now. I am getting some macaroni and cheese made. It's the kids' first day of school. So, um, sending them some macaroni and cheese in their little thermoses for lunch. There's Junior's. And here's Keelis's. Um, so I got up a little earlier than them to get it made. I kind of wanted to surprise them. I also have to get breakfast going because they'll be up in 10 minutes. My husband too, so I get to make up some coffee. And um, the kids want toaster strudels for breakfast, so I'm making them those. Mm. I'm tired because Junior, well, let's see, Kaylee's kept getting up because she thought it was time to go to school. So she's super duper excited. And Junior kept coming to my bed. Like, I had to keep taking him back to his bed because he sleeps erratically. He like kicks and yeah. So, I've got a mess. I didn't clean the kitchen last night. Um, still not feeling 100% with this whole Bell's Palsy thing. I don't know. I actually don't know if that's what it is. It's not making me feel 100%. Uh, but, like, my face feels numb, but, I mean, bruised. But my ear and my neck hurt really bad. So, I actually go to the doctor's tomorrow. My smile is better. It's still crooked, but it's better. Anyways, um, uh, get this stuff made. I have to pack the rest of the lunch too. I'm gonna pack some, I'll show you guys when I'm done, but I'm gonna pack like, I'm packing macaroni and cheese and hot dogs, cause that's like their favorite. And um, I'm gonna pack some, mini cucumbers because Kaylee's really likes those and probably applesauce and then I will give them like a little thing of fruit snacks as a treat but I've actually got to run the dryer because I never took my husband's um, work clothes dress clothes out um, and they're gonna be really wrinkled and I have to iron them so I'm gonna run the dryer, the old dryer, our old, old dryer now, our other one. Our other one went. So, um, it, it, I think I need to do a heating element. I have to um, get it fixed. But in the meantime, just old, using the old one because I, I just don't we don't have the we don't have the funds right now but I'm gonna start getting this lunch packed and I will show you guys what it's looking like here's their lunch macaroni and cheese and hot dogs water I froze half of it so it's half ice half water uh, blueberries fruit snacks and mini cucumbers and then they've got their fork spoon, a little note for mommy, and a napkin. Cool. I feel really excited. Really excited? What grade are you going in? First. First grade already? Wow. How about you? I feel really excited too. Yeah? And what grade are you going to? Second. Yay. Not big. Oh, good morning. Good morning. How do you feel about their first day? Good. Now you get a vacation. Yeah, I wish I meant vacation. How, how do you feel about your first day of school? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Craziness. I feel like it's bittersweet. That's probably the only way I could describe it. Don't cry. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry this year. I've already cried two years, three years in a row. Yeah. I think I should be okay this year. Oh my god, no. <laughs>
Don't laugh at me, girl. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Let's start it on dinner. I made the kids cookies for after school. And this was clean, but it's a mess with school stuff now. I have to clean up. They're reading. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's actually 3.37 now, and this is the first time I've been able to actually vlog. I tried to car vlog a little while before, but my little thingy, <laughs> like suction thing that holds the car is broken. So anyways, um, I went to the doctor's this morning. I was there for quite a while. I went to the bank, um, went to the sporting goods store to get the rest of Junior's football equipment. He needed like a chin strap. And I went to, that's it I think. Yeah, that's it, that was my morning. I came home, had lunch, and then the kids got home and I do have a fever blister there. Looks like the infection is still there. So um, doctor, the doctor, wants me to take some vitamin C because I really need to up my immune system since I have the um, that immunodeficiency and um, another antiviral that she prescribed for me so it's crazy um, been realizing that my eyes been twitching a lot today I did put some eye drops in it before because it was feeling kind of dry but it's it seems to be I mean it seems to be blinking just fine, just twitching and bothering me. Um, yeah, now I'm in my room trying to get it clean. I just put a load of laundry away. I'm going to strip the bed and put these sheets in the washing machine and just put different sheets on. Usually I would just wash them and then put them right back on the bed, to be honest, because I prefer these sheets over the other ones. But... Um, I'm just not going to have time because it's almost 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock I have to start um, making dinner and then we have to be out the door by 5.15 for football practice. So I'm just going to put my other sheets on the bed and try to get this room cleaned up. It hasn't been cleaned since we got back from vacation. So it's got a bunch of stuff all over the place. It's crazy. It's been crazy, guys. I've been slacking so bad. I've been so stressed out. Sit there. The kids are reading, um, doing their reading for the day. I'm supposed to do like 15 minutes, but I, I kind of just tell her to read two chapters. So yeah. So I look like death. But yeah, I'm getting excited though. It's Tuesday and on Friday I'll be meeting some of my favorite YouTube moms in Chicago. And then Saturday we'll have the conference and oh, it's going to be so much fun. And I will try to vlog it. I'm not going to make promises, but I'm going to try because I really just want to enjoy it. Okay, here is the kids' lunch. Um, today's Wednesday. They took lunch. They bought lunch yesterday for the second day of school, but I have these. I have cut up strawberries, and then this is cut up little mini sweet point peppers. They look like this gave the kids each a yellow, an orange, and a red. Um, Felice has a cream cheese and jelly sandwich on these sandwich thins. They're the Arnold sandwich thins and they're healthy multigrain. And then for a little treat, she has a Rice Krispie treat. And then um, for their drink today, I gave them one of these Danimals yogurt drinks and then I just have to write her a note and her lunch is packed. The only, the only difference for Junior um, is that instead of a cream cheese and jelly sandwich she's having this um, sun butter sunflower spread and jelly. He really likes this. Kaylee's is not a big fan of this so she's going to try cream cheese and jelly today instead. 
Happy Wednesday. I haven't vlogged all day. It's about 5.15 now. I'm actually in the back of the dance studio because Junior's in the restroom. Um, Kaylee's is having her first dance class. She's in tap right now. And yeah, it's been a bad day. Not feeling too good. So we'll see how it goes. A good thing though, I did find $1 shirts at Walmart today. But other than that, not feeling great. Not having the best day. Um, her class is an hour and a half long and then I'm gonna go home. I've gotta wash my hair and uh, to figure out what I'm gonna do for the conference. I'm thinking I'll, I'll be straining it um, because we just have, we're leaving Friday morning. So it's craziness going on right now. Do it again. Okay. And then you gotta change because daddy's bringing dinner home. Oh. Woo, yeah. Very good. Hello. Hey guys. <laughs> Happy Thursday. I wanted to start my video like this. So, half curly straight do you see the length difference it's crazy um, my hair definitely needs a trim the ends are horrible but I don't have time to get a trim before Chicago so we're just gonna go with this um, if you have very curly thick frizzy hair like mine you know that sometimes you have to straighten it and leave it straight for three days at a time that's gonna happen um, I have dry shampoo so it'll be clean I am also walking around in a pair of sandals that I bought for the conference because I need water. I'm trying to see if they're going to be comfortable enough. They're kind of tight and I don't know. That blister looks horrible. Don't look at it. Just don't. Just put your finger like over the computer screen like this. Just don't look at that. It sucks. Um, I do have like medicine for it, but it seems to be getting worse. My husband says it gets worse before it gets better, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, right now, straightening my hair. Guys, it's about 20 minutes after, 30 minutes maybe, after I last vlogged. My hair is all straightened. I just kind of parted it to the side for today. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Honestly, I'm annoyed. I think it's gonna rain and if it rains my hair is gonna puff up so bad hopefully um, it doesn't rain but if it does rain then they might cancel football which would give me more time Ugh, I'm such a bad mom for wishing that um, anyways I'm probably just gonna clip it back right now honestly because I'm gonna eat and it's in my face and yeah it looks it's good I mean it's okay it's never the best on the first day that's why I did it today Thursday um, it's best on the second and third day so that's why I decided to do it today instead of doing like I don't even know when I would do it tomorrow anyway so that's why I did it now um, I don't I could have done it tonight but I don't want to I want to relax and get some rest um, still sick so Anyways, uh, our flight, we should be leaving at 7.30 tomorrow morning. I'm still wearing these sandals with the tag on them. Um, I'm going to see if my husband will paint my nails tonight. He's pretty good at painting nails, so don't tell him I told you. Um, I should probably touch up this eyebrow. I don't know if it'll hurt now. I can, I can move them now, so it shouldn't be that bad. Um, but yeah, I have to pack and figure out what the heck I'm going to do to this if it's still there um it'll probably most definitely be there tomorrow so i have to figure out a way to cover it up and then because we're going to google space and i don't want to look like this um i've got a pack i've picked clothes out for myself nothing for the kids or my husband but um they're not going to be coming to the conference at all they're just gonna be hanging out so whatever for them um, but I haven't pulled my suitcase in here. I have to also get my tripod. I have to like put
push it down to the smallest size and try to fit it in the suitcase. If not, I have to figure out how the heck I'm going to travel with that. Um, I don't know. I've got to clean the bathroom though. I'm going to show you guys. So I pulled out the Lysol wipes so I can clean it, but look at all the hair. Like, it's so gross. And then I, I unplug those things so they can cool down. So I, while they cool down, so I can put them back in this basket and this basket goes in there. I'm going to actually go eat lunch and then I'll come back and clean this bathroom up and um, get started on packing. All right, guys. So here's currently what's going on. I started to pull stuff for the conference. So over here I have like all my tech electronically stuff. So I have all my SD cards in this little case my husband got me. I need to put them in and my extra battery for my vlogging camera. There's my vlogging camera. I've got this cocoon thing, which is where I put like all my wires and stuff. I have my little tripod. I have to go get my big tripod and my video camera. So, and it's charger and it's bag. Um, I've got my, just like my iPhone earbuds. And then I got these Bose headphones, which I like to wear on the airplanes. My camera, charger, uh, my hard drive, my computer wire. There's like a wire mixed in here for the iPhone. This is for my computer wire. There's my computer and the little case for it and my planner. And then I've got a bunch of stuff. So I got this black maxi skirt with the white shirt and I have like a gray like loose cardigan type thing that I might pair with that. I'm thinking, I don't know, or I have a black one. I'm not sure. I don't want to be like too dark either, so I don't know. I have my YouTube mom shirt, which is not one of the YouTube mommy meetup shirts. My husband actually had this made for me as an early gift for her anniversary, which is August 20th. Um, I'm not planning to wear it for the conference because I already know what I'm going to wear for the conference, but I'm thinking maybe I'll wear it on the airplane back with like some comfy like yoga pants. I don't know. I got these two necklaces. This one's gold and it has these leaves. And then this is a silver one. It has like all these charms on it. It's a long necklace. I pulled this beaded headband out. Um, if I go with that, I can wear this. I don't know. Razors that I just bought yesterday. This is my other option. I have this like khaki color, like tan color, loose cardigan. The gray one is in the wash right now. And this skirt, which I feel like is brighter, but then I don't know what color shirt to wear with that. I usually wear a black shirt. I don't know. And then this is my outfit for the day of the conference. So I've just got this um, navy blue tank from Old Navy, which this loose white cardigan and this skirt that we got in the outlets at um, Lane Bryant, which I really like. And then I've got the some white sandals so I think I'm gonna wear that for the day of the conference I just can't decide what to wear for the excuse me Achoo! excuse me um I can't decide what to wear for the airplane ride to the conference because straight I mean to Chicago because straight from the airplane I'll be going to Google space so I want to be dressy but I also want to be practical so I don't know what to wear I've got like a pile of tanks in the middle there I don't know my end table's a disaster so I've I've got to figure this out but guess what the kids are going to be home in like less than 10 minutes it's pouring rain outside so I'm going to go sit out in the garage and we'll see if I can get my umbrella out of my car or see if my husband has an umbrella in the garage and see and wait for the kids and think this all through